Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Abby on Camera, where tonight we're watching Star Wars Visions Volume 2, the first three episodes. Before we get into it, happy Star Wars Day and may the 4th be with you. If you're watching this on Star Wars Day, it's at least, that's when I'm recording it, the first five minutes of Star Wars Day. Now the first season of Star Wars Visions actually came as a surprise to me, because I, I didn't expect it. When they first announced it, I was like, wait, Star Wars and anime? You gotta be kidding me. This is actually happening. And then uh, the quality of each of the shorts was through the roof. Amazing. They made me laugh. And hey, you can watch my reactions. The last couple made me really sad and angry. By the way, I'll put a, I'll put a card up there for this first season. And for the last three, you can see the playlist at the end of the video. Go watch them, they're fun reactions. But back to this, when I heard volume two was coming, I was excited as well. What were we gonna get? But they took it a step further. They didn't just make more anime. They decided to just let animation studios from across the world to just come in and make something Star Wars-ish, free of the bounds of, oh, is this canon? Is this part of the story? None of that, just something really cool. Look, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm eager to see what this season has for us. So, if you enjoy this reaction, consider hitting that like button. If you want to see the rest of my reactions to Star Wars Visions, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to do either, then let's just get on the reaction. Red this time. El Guiri Studios presents Sith. Is that an actual hallway or some kind of memory? Looks real on me. Jeez, look at the environment. Maybe it will inspire me to finish the painting. Okay, so she's an artist. Which makes sense a little bit for the design of everything. Okay, so you can use the force. Um. I got this. Uh, nope, you don't. Seems you got this. Sith, look at that title card. Oh, unique. This, this moving living color. On one hand, I want to try and make sense of this world to see where and if this could be put into actual Star Wars. Like I didn't, the last uh, visions, like, oh, maybe this could be, uh oh, canon or that could be canon, but look at this. It's like she's walking through like a storyboarded world. I hate the hands that would have been like actual architecture, or the stairs that are not yet drawn yet. But she's bringing the color with. Oh my god, it's just too good. Well, this is a stark contrast. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Hey, I know this isn't water, but don't forget the hydro, folks. Oh, the mechanical hand is. She's trying to paint her own hand. Darkness wants to be. Is it like a whole. Like, it's a metaphor about how the darkness is seeping into her. She's trying to fill her life with color and freshness, but the darkness is still a part of her. Beacon 7. Probably just another meteorite. Let's it's never a meteorite. Uh, you left your lightsaber behind. You're always right, me too. You left the lightsaber. But shit, look at that unicycle. Like, the only other thing we've seen... That's a very Sith-like building. The only thing we've seen like it. <laughs> oh shit, look at that. The only thing, the thing we've seen like this is that droid that Grievous used. But that had like legs too. This thing is awesome. And then having like the individual motorcycle bit lean separately. Instead of leaning the entire ring. This doesn't look like a meteorite. Oh really? I never guessed. Oh, yeah, he's right behind you. And you forgot your saber. Oh, look at him. Looks just like Darth. Nah, I don't remember the name, but he looks just like a certain Sith Lord from like the old Knights of the Old Republic games. And there's more. Ooh, look at that head. Looks like something out of Pacific Rim, that head. Oh, come on! Just seeing the wave of color emanating out. I'm no Sith anymore. No Sith anymore? You were a Sith? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. 
So how that darkness is everything because she is a former Sith. Yeah, you left that behind, girl. Oh, God. Good show. And they can fly. Look at that. Oh, she's got guns on that thing, too. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Damn it. No, don't kill the tiny droid. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> droid has a laser cannon. No, 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 no. Come on. I just said not to do that. He just tore the legs off, it's fine. Look at look at it now. Right? This is now everything is in color. This is what the environment is supposed to is really looks like. But in her mind, it's all just a blank canvas for her to paint over. Ooh, lightsaber katanas are back. Ooh, I love with the buzzing, and I love his how his blade widens at the bottom. Oh, and here it is, back at the environment. Only escape. Becoming the Sith. Oh, why can't you find another battle? Another someone else to train, huh? Oh. Part of the painting. You can't escape the darkness. Use it. Accept it. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> I think that that does it. This is the first time on screen that we've seen Doe someone. Oh, he's wow, he's Voldemorting. I am no Sith. I am no Jedi. He was so clip. Uh, but first of all, he's Voldemorting away. And she has the first canonical, like, canonical, two-color lightsaber. Yeah, he's fine. That's right. Lots of painting. Oh, that's, that's awesome. She wrote, the, the old painting was, like, punching through the darkness eyes, and now that's just her own success. That was episode one, Sith and... Star Wars Vision is back and it hits hard from the very beginning. What an episode. That environment right in her head. This is all blank. It's a canvas. It's a world she she can create for herself that she can change and control for herself. But the darkness in her, she feels it's spreading. She can't control it. Right? And then he comes and he brings the cold light of reality. This is what that this nice world of white possibility that we see originally nah it's this dark pointy craggy like desert and i just love it it was spectacular all right then on to the next cartoon saloon presents screechers reach some kind of labor camp a prison are these children these are these are definitely children well, are you, that doesn't seem like they're forced to be there, are you? You don't seem to be any in trouble yet. The cell shading, this animation style is... It's great. Can't remember what it reminds me of, though. Oh, God, look at that. That was very easy for you to escape. <laughs> He's so small, he has to stand on the seat. Well, in my mind, I'm kicking her off the arse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kick her off the arse. <laughs> That's a definitely a good mentality, at least. There are worse lives, Dal. There are also better lives. There you go. Let me guess. We're not far now. Is it all gonna choose to stay with them? At the end of the day? Wow. That definitely doesn't look spooky at all. With strength and courage. Whose path? What medallion is that? Oh yeah, dark side cave and everything. I've seen more terrifying Yo, child, do me. not test it. Be happy, it's boring. Hey, the smart one bought a flashlight. 
Oh, jeez, he's got a hair. Whoa, that's creepy as shit. Holy shit. You know, I was really thinking maybe maybe this ghost isn't an actual ghost. It's something else, but that, that was, that was something. You regretting telling her to go off and do her own thing now? Okay, lightsaber. Okay. The witch is some kind of creepy Sith monster. Holy God, look at that. The light's breaking through. And come on. Even the, here, look at how they animate the lightsaber blade crackling. It's so great. It's gonna beam a fire. Stop looking back and keep moving. Oh, there you go. Force. There it is. Let's see the true form of this witch. Yeah, what I expected. Killed it. So what now? And now it's time for us to meet. Okay. Okay, that's so much worse. What is that? <laughs> oh god. What did you talk to? Look at that ship design. It's like an evil butterfly. Weird. It's radiating light. You said the test was the radiating light and, and white, but also right? darkness so, in her heart. Did I pass? No. Look at her eyes. This was always for you, my young apprentice. Yep, oh, dark yeah. side. He understands at least. <laughs> Don't worry, if she remembers you after all the Sithifying, she'll come back and destroy the place. Yeah, see, there's the undercurrent of darkness with that shot. She really getting up something better. And that was Screecher's Reach. For most of the episode, I was thinking this was very, very loosely Star Wars. Then the lightsaber ignited, and I was still thinking, okay, so the demon has a lightsaber. But, but then the necklace started talking. And, and instead of, like, a nice light, it's like, it's a red light. This woman comes bathed in light, wearing white, but the black and yellow eyes of a Sith. The literal red crystal in the chest and darkness underneath. I don't know whether that's supposed to be like a middle ground character, right? Like this is a person representing the Force as a whole. Like the old uh, people like to call like a Grey Jedi. Or if this is supposed to be how darkness comes bathed in light, right? It's coming here to her like it's a chance for to save her and make her life better. But at the very end, that shot, it, the door is closing, but it's red and it's darkness closing over her face. Not a, not a triumphant, I'm going off for a happy end. It seems a bit dark. Time for the next one. Punk Robot Studio presents In the Stars. Look at it. It's like claymation, but I'm pretty sure that's an that actual separate. It's another one of these shorts, which is actually claymation. Look, but she, there, she's moving in lower frames. I'll do some research after this and see exactly how this is made. I just, TIE Fighter. I was just trying to Keep myself as unspoiled as possible. You actually... You don't actually have the power, do you? <laughs> Ooh, extra points for secondary animation style. The Empire. Because of course they did. Oh shit. No one is stronger than them. Oh, and that's the shining star at the beginning of the episode. They bombed the place in retaliation. Look. Look. It's the argument, you right? Us we are alone. It's like, but do you care at the end about the good stuff? If you're missing the person you love, you're going into the refinery to steal water. I'm coming too. 
Can you really not purify it? Please don't follow her, child. I know you're probably gonna fire her, follow her, but... The whole thing remi kinda reminds me of playing Fallen Order earlier. No, not Fallen Order. Survivor. Forgot, we're on the second one now. Shit. Because of course you did. Oh, hey! Oh, I, I actually really appreciate that. Those suits are from Rebels. Those models even look very similar to Rebels and like their lankiness, but... You were just lucky. Uh, don't, don't drop those stun batons. They'd be kind of helpful. Definitely reminds me of the Jedi survivor right now. No. We have to go back. Don't you dare. We can beat them. No. no. We them. Oh god, you stupid child. And look at the, the way they focus the camera and everything and all make it look like miniatures. No. You aren't gonna kill the child, aren't you? Come on, come on, big sister. This is the time to remember you have force powers. No, nope, nope, nope. Come on, grab, grab, force grab, force grab. Do it. You can do it. Good job. And there's that. Good job. Took it down. You're fine, right? No. Judging from the drawings, you two are definitely okay swimmers. Oh, I thought they were gonna end it underwater for a second. That was episode three in the stars. I don't know, but in the, as for the first three episodes so far, I think maybe this story is my favorite. Story-wise, I think the first one was still super unique in the animation and how they did the setting. But no, whatever. I'll talk about all of them as a whole in the third video. And they'll when I actually I react to the last three episodes, but you'll see that in a couple days. Talking about this episode specifically, I really love this this tale of like these two sisters. The elder one is still angry that the mom left at all, and the younger one is inspired by the by the memories of the mother she has in her head. We see that kind of relationship a lot in storytelling, but still, just to. This story did it well, and their struggle against the Empire. I will admit, it won me some points there with those worker suits. They're straight out of Star Wars Rebels, even in... I said that, but still. Honestly, I'm super excited to watch the rest of these, but I'm going to get ahead with editing these first three and getting them out as fast as I can. Even within these first three episodes, Star Wars Visions proves that it is top-notch Star Wars. It is some of the best around. And I'm happy we get more. <laughs> Hopefully that this keeps going and going. And Lucasfilm keeps making these, even if they can't figure out how to make a movie. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. What was your favorite among these first three episodes? Over here is the next reaction, wherever that comes out. Over here is the playlist of my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.